Hey, hello, hello, and welcome to another Rangru cast, me, Rangru, and today we are doing a 4v4 on Colin Belez. So, on the left hand side in blue, playing as blue 4, we got Namor as Scottus Infantry, Oichi as Scottus Infantry, Argo Bargle as American Armored, Brother Pedro as American Armored, and on the right hand side in red, playing as red 4, we got Virgivica, which is SS, Puda Pudi Chris, which is Luf Luflander, Max Nesty, which is SS, and the man of no name as Luflander. And it's been Vibes Captain going, and this is a rather interesting map. It is a bit very infantry heavy, and down in the middle here in this fat middle bottom hand side here, the factory got a little bit of a flanking maneuver area with the river. Middle gets very open. A lot of open fields till we get to this town over here, which provides a bit of close range infantry fighting, and then some hedgerows here to attack through with your tanks. But yeah, it's a bit more of an infantry favorable map compared to Point de Hook, which is. Well, it's also infantry favorable. Eh, not too infantry favorable. But it's definitely there's more cover here, which makes it a bit more easier. So, off we go. And it's rather nice having a 2 2 spread of factions on every side, so it's going to be rather spread out. And the Germans quickly getting into the town here. And they're rustling through. And what I'm going to be doing now, every replay, is actually instead of just using the same bloody image for the thumbnail and just putting 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm just going to pull a picture from said replay such as as you saw now and then use that as the thumbnail to spice things up a little bit instead of just using the same thing every single time but at any rate we got Fort Shaker in here from the man of no name and it seems like uh, brother Pedro and Argo Bargles is gonna voyage out for now yeah, I'll bring up the reinforcements As this town is, well, they, they could pretty well easily flank it. It's only two panchers here, and everything is slap bang and the pack 42. But it may just be better to encircle the town and then attack it instead of just going straight in. And along the bottom hand side, some East Trooping getting shot up. And we've got some Fort Shagers in the factory area. And a slow infantry march across the open field area with some light vehicles supporting. I'm going to turn this on so we can just see unit stats for now because it's still a rather new game. It's good to know what units do what enamel has left the game. And yeah, the infantry in this town are just going to get completely crapped on. We've got the M16 here. Where it's unlike the Vietnam counterpart, has 450 cows. And this, this seems like the best thing for Blue 4 do is just to surround a town. They definitely don't have infantry to take it. But they definitely do have enough to hold the open field to stop them from moving through. The pack 40 getting suppressed, they're being forced to fall back. Those pads of 35s now. A little bit out of date and not gonna be up to snuff in this fight. As tanks move through the open field. And it's a good thing they're doing this against the Luthland Division because there's nothing too much here to stop him. I mean, the Pack 40 being the main the main scary unit, yeah, it's being forced to fall back. Hopefully, it will get out of here for the man of no name because he's going to need that to survive to stop the rest of his assault. And now the Fout Shakers in the town, they can't do too much if they're getting pinned down in the open field. And then the M16s, just, you, you do not mess with that thing. It's an AA unit, but it's more like an infantry support unit. I mean, from compare the fire rate of this, 258 rounds a minute to 1,610 rounds a minute, you can see which one is uh, superior fire support. It's, a, it's essentially a World War II shulker, just smaller caliber. And as you can see, it's just strafing the infantry in the middle. 
As they are forced to unload the whole track, providing some cover and fire. And yeah, this is, well, this replay was uploaded as a pincher attack, and yeah, this is a pretty damn good pincher attack. Encircling the town, and then attacking in there. Oh, that's a bit dumb, getting the uh, Stuart in there. I mean, those Fort Shakers still have rocket launchers, and you see the Humbler getting knocked out. I mean, I definitely want to bring in infantry first before bringing in the tanks. Now, oh no, that's... You're not in a good spot, Stuart. Not in a good spot at all. And, yep, taking a rocket hit. Panzerfaust knocking it out. Oh no, I think that's a heat grenade knocking it out, huh? Using the AI, I've never actually really seen the anti-tank grenade being used. It's pretty, it's, I still find it pretty amazing how you can chuck grenades like at over 100 meters. But hey, it's a game you gotta have. You gotta have that stuff. And the factory pretty much divided in half across the courtyard here. Neither side really wanting to attack. I have a feeling if Red Fort attacked here, they could probably overwhelm. And the middle will rather cry it. Now it's Pincher attack moving through the M4 Sherman running out of land to hold on to. He's going to be surrounded. And once your unit's in enemy territory, it does gain a few debuffs. I believe he gets suppressed a bit more easily. And I hate this one tunneling, trying to go for a strafe and run. And that's the one good thing about Luflan Division. You can bring up these guys in Phase A, or usually a Phase B, Phase C plane. And in Phase A, yeah, flipping great if used effectively. Unless you get intercepted by P-38 Lightning here. Because there's not... Yeah, it gets shot down. Because there's not much ground base AA during Phase A. So, um, and just as long as you have some fighter support and don't let P-38 Lightning shoot you down, you can easily strafe these Stuarts and other light tanks effectively. And because they're light tanks, you can kill them from the front. You don't have to do any side strafing if you were trying to kill a heavier tank. Like the Jumbo. And we've got the Stuarts completely suppressing these Panzer Grenadiers. I mean, the one great thing about the American, or just American in general, is just the overabundance of machine guns. I mean, the Stuart is this small little light tank, doesn't have one, not two, but three machine guns. Each of them doing 258 rounds a minute, which is a lot of boom boom. And the Pan Jaeger shooting in. Sending up the rifle leader, honey syrup being brought up. And the 1% does surrender, which I believe was this dude down here. I guess they only had 1% of the space left for his name. But yeah, I think that's really just going to be the replay up, pinch and manoeuvre. And they do manage to completely capture the town in the recording guy, barely alive. I'm, I'm amazed he didn't get spotted. He didn't even have his weapons turned off, too. So rather lucky for him. Now they're just huge attack here from Blue Fall. Now they just they had a decent hold of that town, but they needed more fire support to keep hold of it. Some more AT guns. Some more tank to firefly definitely been a use for up top. But I believe it's mainly a Luftland division dude up top playing. Yeah, Red 4 ain't gonna be able to come back from yet. And that would be GG to Blue 4. Taking the victory, yeah. And if we look at the kills, they are pretty, pretty high for Blue compared to Red. is not really managed to get much done. And if we just take a look at the history tab, yeah, the Panzer 30, yeah, the Command Abrams knocking out the Panzers. Yeah, there's. The tank's doing a great job killing those Fauchagers, essentially. And then no kills and losses, yeah, so we can't see who actually played. But yeah, that was, that was a real good example of a pinch and maneuver. And it really goes to show that holding a town in this game, you need a bit more than just infantry. Infantry ain't gonna cut it by itself. Because they don't, unlike war game, they don't have the long range AT capability to keep tanks at bay. To do that, you need 
other tanks, you need AT guns, and you need airplanes, and artillery, pretty much everything else apart from infantry to help you score towns, and especially, especially in a town like that, where it's a rather open field to the top and bottom of it. So yeah, long story short, they really just needed to get some better fire support stuff to help fight you. Yeah to help cover that town because they had they had a good infantry force in there which could have held if any other infantry force dared attack but i'm gonna leave it off yeah this has been another angry car so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as usual please just take it easy